I'll see you in the prep room. I'll see you there as well. And be there. And I'll see you there in the prep room. Tech. My dearest friend. Welcome to the rendezvous. To anyone watching your stream in the future or now. Hello and welcome. We'll see you in the prep room. Tonight. I have a very special audio that I want to show him. From our local music box here. Ah, <laughs> this is Protech Chan. There. I'll only play it during the designated break. The though. RP. <laughs> when they're here, they're usually they're usually we playing need to music. To unplug this cable at some point. Uh, Hello. Hello. I trust you to know how you got the good ending last time, because I have zero idea where to start. <laughs> oh, I do. Hi, Protag. <coughs> hello, hello, hello. <sighs> Sorry, I'm out of breath from getting here so late. I, I was I was patching up an audio that I was working on. It's made specifically for Captain Panda, if he shows up. If not, I'll just have to how play the audio without him. How can you while swimming through the air? Is it like, is it like it's strenuous? <laughs> a little, it's a little, I guess. Is it more like free-falling, or is it more like being in the water? More like being in the water. I can't change my fucking... That makes more sense. Um, hold on. Ah. <sighs> I might have one you can. I just hope Captain Panda shows use. up. That's I, one I of my really want to show him uh, the special audio that I made just for soup time. Are you I looking know. for like anime style or? You know what? I might as well just play it right now, just in case. No, no, no! Don't spoil it. Oh, that's excellent quality. That's fine. Okay, I'll I'll do it during break time then. In fact, that's even better than what I was gonna. It's supposed to be a fullback model. I'm just glad I made it just in time. Ten, mm. nine, it's good. It's it's starting. Back. That's for eight, sure. it's time, it's time, it's time. Oh, it's seven, best. Seven, itchy, itchy. Six, five, four, four, three, three two, one. We're going two, on a trip and our favorite rocket ship flying through. It seems you've met with an uncertain fate. You find yourself. At an interdimensional crossroad. A rendezvous of travelers between worlds. And our point of contact to the narrative domain. Long ago, when the first mortals walked with us, we guided them through stories designed to evoke emotions. But these narratives, however brilliant, only shine the brightest when their limits are broken. How does one free the limits of a world within its own creator's headspace? A concept given words and voice, in turn, gives the observer infinite potential. Infinite creativity for a narrative within their own. Their own private, held dear in their own image. On the shores of creation, wills are born, given life by your own private fancy. A single soul can create 10,000 stories, and all of them brimming with ether. This story was written as such. This story seeks for you to understand not only the tour guide, but yourself. Such a feat could
could only be performed by the greatest storyteller, the greatest voice actor, and the greatest friend. Travelers, it is my honor to introduce to you Trajim, the tour guide. Hooray! Become cube! Flawless. Friends and travelers, good evening, and welcome to the man standing in the corner of the room. God damn. Ah, good times. Wait, what? That's one for the veterans. As mentioned, <laughs> my name is Oh, jeez. And I'm going to be a story <laughs> This is a story-based tour, and as with any tour in the real world, we have rules. Well, one primary rule. I kindly ask that you become silent each time we stop for narration. However, you are encouraged to talk amongst yourselves while we walk. Now, my friends, there are more notes world specific notes to give you but for now i'm going to drop a portal to tonight's event psych it's over here tonight my friends <coughs> wait for me on the other side Feels a bit lesser tonight. Oh shoot! I I I I've never I've never gone over here. That's wondering. Uh, that's what I'm wondering. There's not many people uh, for this event tonight. Yeah. Why isn't there many people for this event? I thought there'd be more people tonight. I very much want to I have legitimately never gone. Quality over quantity tonight. Could be. But it's probably gonna be a different and ending because you're tending to already got the good ending, so. Oh, never mind. Hey, Project. I just wanted to give myself something. Hello. Hello. <laughs> you ready for some more songs to get angry at? I got a whole new batch. Lucky <laughs> Dora. Please tell me never gonna give you up as part of it. No, it's a reference to my, me because I record for YouTube Thank and I get copyright struck a lot of times when he plays music. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. I 
got some lo-fi beats I could play. That's okay. I'm actually going to be muting my microphone too because I'm on call for work. So if I get a call, I want people to hear me. <laughs> oh, okay. Take care, take Nord. I mean, no, it will. Boop. I wish you have the best of fun tonight. You need a longer neck, boy. You can't see me. Patty cake, patty cake. There's a man. Yeah, the, uh... <sighs> Look, sometimes it gets in the way. Yeah, it's all good. Hold on. There's a man. Hey, boys, you'll come up to the lady and catch the poop with my cat. Yeah, it smells like blueberry. Mm -hmm. Glorious. <coughs> <coughs> Filtration. What is your favorite flavor of ice cream? I think he's gone. I love the flavor of silence as well. <laughs> That's oh, good, shit, I can't do this. We are on. preparing the um, tour. This is not the time for me to answer questions. My apologies. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. I'm sure that's not a reference. <sighs> Made it just in time. Made it just in time again. I crashed. I don't know how I crashed. I just did. I was opening the home menu and it just it just stopped working. Like the, the home menu stopped working. I couldn't play VR chat or the home menu. So I had to close everything out like and just open back everything up. Oh. Like, like the waves? <laughs> You what do you mean waves? Like, like, like That's the wild. ocean waves? Actually, if it's taking this long, I'm oh, you're making a joke. A cup of coffee. No, no, I, ju I just crashed because there was like some sort of error that I couldn't open up the home menu for some reason. It was really weird. Hilariously quotable one-liner. Oh no! Oh no! no look, never mind. That, that was weird. It just like stopped working for like a split second. Hilarious quotations, hilarious uh, funny jokes, hilarious, hilarious thing. Is it working? Are you, are you, are you dying? Hilari I thought no. there was a coincidence. I thought there was so <laughs> Sorry, they Hilariously I derailing one line. Inside the distance. Oh. Oh. Okay, it doesn't work, I see. I <sighs> was putting that to the test at your own expense. I would apologize, but that would mean I didn't want to do it. I, I don't get it. Good. <laughs> He's gonna get some coffee. <sighs> I'm just glad that I'm not crashing this time. But his Good. hair is coffee. It's brown, look. Did you know humans oh, eat like small strands of their too. hair practically every day without them noticing? It's only noticeable if they're actually intending on eating something. Eat. Hopefully dur oh. And hopefully during the break. I hope that disturbed yeah, I hope you. I wanted to see how your reaction was. It, I like seeing how well, new people react to things. It lets me get to know them more. Hmm. A scalp oh, on the tail. How loud question. would you scream if you broke a bone? Sorry, that was my program speaking. Hello again. Hi. Mm. Sorry. Right. Hmm. I'm just eating a chocolate. I'm eating a chocolate bunny right now because it's Easter over here. <sighs> oh, um, happy Easter! That's a thing happy humans Easter. do. Yeah. <laughs> That's a thing that <laughs> the people that go outside do, which I don't. Five, like so long. Four, so long. Three, say maybe Rendezo doesn't have a mic. Two, oh. one. Blast off. My friends, please gather around where you can hear me clearly. <gasps> Welcome to the narrative of the prince. Before we officially begin, aside from the one rule earlier, there are some notes specific to this world. Please listen carefully.
please take a moment to adjust your world volume so that you can hear the distant waves. Please make sure that the button to your left is orange. If it is green, click it so it becomes orange. Tour mode should be on. If you are experiencing lag, please feel free to turn off all avatars except for your tour guides. If you press tab on desktop mode or in VR, hold your right hand above your head and press the menu button, you will see this world's custom menu. You can use the fast travel menu in conjunction with the tour guide's help to catch up to the group. If you need Sheen or Rendita to help you during the tour, you can bring them back to the back of the group and ask them for help with anything tonight. Each time we reach a new teleport marker, a new chapter in the story, I will announce it. And one final note for VR users. This tour has some strong color filters in some parts. And now, my friends, if we're all ready, let us begin. Okay, hopefully, hopefully it'll crash this time. Follow me. Here we go. Ooh, not too many people chatty here. Oh, I can chat. Should I turn up my volume to 100%? Wow. I'm sure that'd be pleasing for everyone. Okay, let me do that right now. Uh oh, let's, let's not. That's strange. The, th the thingy isn't showing up. Uh, no, it's not. <laughs> okay, hold on. Oh, boy. I'm sure glad uh, there's not that many people around to see this. Oh, there we go. Quick invite all your friends. I still don't yeah, see no, anything. I, I, don't I don't see anything. See I don't see it. Um, there, there's no thingy. Make sure it's orange, as in it's like, don't, don't mm -hmm. click it. Yeah. There's no orange teleport. And then, if so, well... Hopping. I still don't see anything. Should we try it's, clicking it's the button? button? Are you okay? Should we temporarily turn off Which is weird. just so we can progress? Or no, because I suppose there would be nowhere to turn it back off. Yep. Turn it back on. Oh, that's really weird. It's here for me. You see the start tool thing there? Uh, here for a moment, friends. Technical difficulties. The start tool thingy. Unfortunate. Uh. No, that blue circle that uh, you see is happening. I don't see it, and I'm not the only one who doesn't. Wait, we, we, we might hop. I see it. You're, you're, you're oh, we might be hopping with. Don't, don't good, jump good, into it. We <laughs> might be going to a different, uh, yeah. instance. Don't do it. Who the What is it? Yeah. What? Something in there. I don't. I just oh. watched Muppets the Pirate on my virtual <laughs> memory bank. The tech words. It was really good. Rendizo of the Wall, what is your wisdom? Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. I'm I'm inspired. <laughs> the best wisdom. What is your wisdom? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Are you in blessed? The yeah. Be yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 Oh. Also, what happened okay. next? Okay. I'm afraid I'm gonna get trolled. While we're waiting, you know. Shit. While we're waiting, let's play. Uh, let's let's get in a circle. You know. Let's let's do. Um. I'm gonna regret this. Get into the sharing circle, guys. Get into the sharing circle. Sure, why not? Come on, come on. Come here. Get into the sharing circle, you guys. Uh, While we're waiting, come on. Trade oh, gems just rejoined. The tour guide has returned. Yeah, we're waiting on him. Yeah. What's yeah, it? he just... Show... Yeah, he just showed up. Well, I guess that's it for the sharing circle. Uh, Give it five minutes. My friends, I just reloaded the world, and it works for me now. Please take a moment to reload. Don't click spawn. Go to your world menu and click go on the same world. Or request an invite back if you end up somewhere else. 
click rejoin. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. Oh. I still don't see it, Trajan. There is I see it. Yes, my friends, I'm waiting for everyone to come back and then I'll do it again. Oh, Please yeah. wait for Ooh, I see it. I'll let everyone know that. I'll let everyone know that. Rejoin. Uh, I didn't oh, have to okay. rejoin. It worked. Yeah, oh, rejoin. I, I, I kind of already have, but I'll rejoin again. There we mm -hmm. go. Maybe that's why maybe that's why I saw it, because I rejoined. Uh alright, let me yeah. rejoin. Yes, yes, yes. Right. Um you see it? And yeah, and I'll start last time. You, 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 you didn't have to rejoin. <laughs> yeah, no. I rejoined I just because of. My friends, you should I see it now. Ever. Please have a look. Do you yeah. see the teleport? She oh, is on the is. other side. Yeah, he's if you see he's it, telling please him click to it. stay over there. I need to silence or something. Fly me to the moon. Let me play among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. No. In other words, Yeesh. I've never seen any technical hand. difficulties like that. In other words, the yeah, chat very weird lately. It looks very like the problem. problem has been solved. Once again, VR Travelers is the victor. We got the neutral ending, you guys. Who the fuck is dying alive? We got the neutral ending. <laughs> that was a short tour. Yeah, I can't select anyone either. I don't know how. Come on. Oh, there's select no people. selecting people as normal the here. here. menu. Now, my friends, we have been delayed long enough. Which means, without further ado, let the story begin. They say that when I was born, everyone could hear it. The midwives, the guards, the servants, even the cooks and stable hands, everyone in the castle, everybody in the kingdom, everybody heard the ocean. But that didn't make any sense. is nowhere near the kingdom. The oracle said it was a sign that I was different. But I had never heard the waves myself. At least, not until
Chapter One I in a castle tower, alone in a dark chamber, a young prince trembles beneath the covers. His brow is furrowed with worry, his breath shallow and rapid, his mind is full, overflowing with grim images, twisted visions, memories of that night, that storm, that harrowing storm, dark waters churning, roiling. Nightmares plague him, guilt plagues him. Some of the crew members and soldiers were found along the beaches, blue faces strangled by seaweed, bloated, half buried in grey sands. But his father was not among them. All were lost to the sea. All but the prince. He awakens with a start, saved from the darkness of his own imagination by the comfort of his own bedchamber. But the remission is short-lived. He sits up, looks left at the raindrops sliding down the glass, then right, slowly surveying the dark, corners of his chamber. There's a meal in the cabinet, likely cold as stone. The thought of food upsets him, his appetite absent for one or two moons now. With a shaking sigh, he reaches over, scooping up a trinket from his bedside table, and he brings it close to his face, squinting in the low light to make out its details. It's a pendant from the sacred land of Lydicia, given to him by his father, the late king. All he has is this pendant, his mother, and his brother. A warmth ignites in his heart, spreading across his body, keeping the cold at bay. Strong, charming, smart. His brother is everything their parents wanted. He even went to battle alongside the Silver Aegis and came back unscathed. The people look up to him. His brother is the king they want. The chill of night begins to win the fight. The pendant loses its power as his bed pleads for him to return. Heavy covers under which he can hide and wish himself away. A fragile bulwark against a callous, ruthless world that doesn't want him. He dives back down into his refuge and... Who would be at his door at this time of night? Is that... One of the guard making sure he hasn't fled? Is it his nurse checking up on him again? Is it the zealots finally here to drag him to the tower? Rain batters the glass as he turns his head toward the door. You're still awake? <laughs> the prince sighs and nods. His brother steps out of shadow wearing a cloak and carrying a bag. Why is he dressed at this time of night? Has anyone entered your room? The prince looks at his brother. Have they? He doesn't think so. Aside from the rain and wind, the castle has been quiet. His brother seems nervous, and it makes the prince nervous in turn. He shakes his head. Good. The brother glances toward the door. Get dressed. Grab whatever you can carry. The prince's heart sinks. Questions 
and fears swim in his mind like eels in a bucket of water. Is there a fire? Has Dacia finally reached the capital? Is his mother the queen sending him away? Is he finally going to prison for what he did? But none of these questions leave his lips. He just sits there, useless. Listen, his brother approaches the bed. This is serious. Put on your cloak. Take whatever you don't want to leave behind. Someone, someone is after us, and he stops, turns suddenly to face the door. The prince listens. Hurry, the prince says in a harsh whisper. Now! The prince is terrified. He climbs out of the covers and reaches down to open the trunk at the foot of the bed, rummaging for his warmest cloak, the dark blue one with the hood. What about mother? The prince's voice feels weak, as though it's about to shatter. What about the guards? The aegis? What about... No, there's no time. His voice frightens the prince. Why is he being like this? The prince finds his cloak and swings it over his shoulders. He slips a long tunic over his nightgown, fastens it with the first belt he can find, and slips into some boots. He only has time to stuff the Ludician pendant into his pocket before his brother grabs his hand and almost drags him to the floor. Door. The brother stops, gestures for the prince to be quiet, and peers out into the passageway. My friends, assuming this works, let us follow the pair into the dark. Neat. First. First. First to win. Watch me clip out of bounds, everyone. Whee! Congratulations, good luck getting back. I'm hungry. Hi, hungry. I'm Sayu. Hey, boy, you need more polygons in your avatar? It's too optimized. I look at you and it goes back to 150 frames. I don't like it. It ain't red. My friends, the story continues. You need to get a better computer. The prince and brother pass through an empty hall. The castle thus far has been quiet. Except here, where footsteps echo from some place ahead. Quick, behind here, whispers the brother, pressing himself against a pillar. A moment later, a door swings open, the sounds of armor rattling and a woman panting draw nearer. The prince holds his breath. The figure staggers past in a rush, glancing around but briefly, and they exit the way the brothers came from. That was the Aegis, the prince thinks, and his heart flutters. But something's wrong. She looked injured. And how didn't she notice us? The prince peers up at his brother, expecting him to go after his mentor. But he doesn't. The brother grabs his hand and uses a side door. This way, friends. Oh my god. Formula. Not that formula, the, the formula of the oh formula of what happens at the end of this story. He wasn't here for it. Darn it. So we might get the neutral no, ending. No, I wasn't. Nope. 
But I was there. Unless it was posted in the channel. The story continues. Why are we here? The prince asks. The brother hurries past shelves and moves to the far end of the room, ignoring the question. He starts to check everything, moving random objects, looking behind and under furniture. The prince looks at a nearby open tome, some old red tome. Who is after us? The brother stops. The oracle is dead. The inquisitor killed him. He looks the prince directly in the eyes, breathless, afraid. I saw it happen, and he saw me. The prince stumbles back, catching himself on a desk. The oracle, dead, an inquisitor, a cold chill crawls up the back of his neck, a sick feeling boils in his stomach. Dead. Dead. But, but the oracle said that he is the chosen one. The oracle said that he survived for a reason. The oracle said he would learn how to control it if he just went to Lydicia and found it. The brother steps back and dusts his hands. Help me move this. The two of them, carefully, quietly as they can, drag a shelf away from the wall, and behind it, low to the ground, is an old door. A secret passage. This leads outside the castle, the brother says. Are you ready? 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 How can he be ready? No. This has to be a dream. It feels like a dream. A nightmare. The oracle can't be dead. Any moment now he's going to be shaken awake by his nurse, and his mother will be right there, and for once he will welcome her presence. Yes, it's just a nightmare. Hey. Hey. The brother pulls him back. I know you're afraid. I am too. Without us, a Lazarus has no ruler after mother. We are going to escape. We're going to hide. We're going to get help, and then I'm going to figure out a way to solve all of this, all right? It's going to be okay. We will be okay. The prince can only bring himself to nod before they both crawl into the secret passage. My friends, let us follow them. See. Sí. Mm -hmm. The brothers emerge from the cramped passageway and find themselves in a dimly lit basement. It seems similar to the kitchen cellars, but the prince doesn't recognize it. Judging by his brother's face, he doesn't recognize it either. The brother begins to cross the room slowly, checking every footstep. The prince stops. What's that noise? A grinding, a deep rumbling. The storm returns. I'm blue, dabba dee, dabba die. No. An image rushes up from the depths, rising to meet him. 
in a moonlight forest, a beast strides out of the undergrowth and glides across the ground, argent, majestic, silent, a great silver elk. It lands, pauses, turns back. A younger tawny elk follows, slower and with less majesty, yet bearing great promise. The great elk observes as the younger elk's shadow moves. It betrays the form, and the forest becomes dark. My friends, you have a choice to make. The prince has four options. Descend, divulge, dwell, distract. I will give you one minute to discuss how he should respond to this vision. After this time expires, I will call upon one of you to give your best answer. Your time starts now. I heard detach. Right, Did anyone else me. hear detach? Yeah, okay. If they Who call on you, you say detach, the and if floor, they, so and no, even if they say that it wasn't one of the options, you say so that, so yeah, you people, stick to it, alright. Is pizza an option? That there is a hidden fifth option. It is how we are able to get towards the part where we need to get to the good ending. So, do not ignore all other four options and choose detach. They're all valid mm -hmm. options. Yeah, just listen to Protag. Funnily enough, I, I, I suspect they we all have to yeah, detach here, but not I suppose. Those four that he lists don't but We're not going to do that, ending. though. The yeah, four options are fine. The they will not get us good ending, though. Mm. We all need to do detach so we can get the option near the end, which I won't spoil, which is defy. This is an equality We need to, we need to keep like... feeling detach. I like it when Mouseman right. explains it. Oh, Trajan just said not all endings have been seen, so tonight could be unique. Okay, okay. Wait, there's an I ending like other than good? good ending, Maybe, but I would still like to get the good ending. If you all would yeah, like to get Yeah, a good number well. of, yeah, good number of people that are here yeah, missed the good ending. I want to see it again, because it's just lovely. But I don't know the secret combination, though. I do. I, I'll, sh I'll wait until we get though. to that point. Okay, good. I don't you like you. Key. You sound like the you internet. You are our key. You are our key. <laughs> oh. You are our key to victory. Funny that I'm actually in an avatar that is meant to be my personal interpretation of the prince. Ooh. My assumption. Oh, so. Your attention, please. For the time for discussion has ended and I am going to call upon Ragnaros you have been chosen will the prince descend divulge dwell or distract the prince shall detach detach I didn't say that was an option. However, it is. It always is. The prince takes a step back from himself. He observes his own fear, his own experience. He observes the vision from outside. With this clarity, he can see the truth. He remains in the moonlight forest. The shadow continues to shift, sliding beneath the younger elk. The greater elk stamps its hoof unmoved. The shadow does not flinch. The elk stamps again, and the shadow cowers. 
then the shadow turns in the direction of the prince, and the prince looks back at this darkness, black as the moon's shadow. And in this vision, the prince remains. The brother carries him upon his back throughout the rest of the hidden passage. During this time, the prince is aware of his brother avoiding both some zealots and the silver aegis who was working with them. My friends, please kindly follow me. <coughs> This wall has a ladder. Cool. I'm a little memer, a little sleeper. We need to go into yes, power, I... power save mode. I am actually EP myself. But I'm trying to stay awake for this super good story. Oh my god! Fortnite help me now! Good damn it! Yes! It worked. <sighs> my hat! My beautiful hat! Ah, there we go. Travelers, we have arrived at Chapter 2. God damn these neighbors. A final secret tunnel takes them up some steep stairs and into some long abandoned home. A chill wind whistles through cracks in the shutters, accompanied by the gentle grey of dawn. The moth-eaten rug breaks apart as the prince makes his way to the old dust-covered bed. He sits and sighs. He is tired. He is hungry, and his stomach still churns. The brother goes to the window and peers outside, one hand on the handle of his sidearm. Was that there this whole time? The prince wants to ask about the sword and the aegis, the oracle, the inquisitor, but his mouth is dry and his jaw aches, and he, for the first time, is afraid of the only person who has always been there for him. I think it's safe here. Are you alright? His brother is looking at him. The prince nods, and the brother approaches and offers a water skin. Here, he says. Have some. The prince looks at the water skin, the leather carved with their royal emblem. He wants to take it. He wants to trust his brother. But he can't. You think I attacked the Aegis? The brother says. You think, perhaps, that I killed the Oracle? I didn't think you could hear that. The prince looks down. Well, I 
did do one of those things. I attacked the Aegis. I didn't want to, but you must understand, I had no choice. I saw the Inquisitor with the Oracle last night. I was going to speak with the Oracle about my coronation. But I heard their conversation. I heard what they said about you. The Oracle called you Oceanborn. And I saw the fire in the Inquisitor's eyes. I saw the blood spilling. The Inquisitor wields the power of miracles of fire. You know this. He thinks he was sent by the enemy. He thinks the Chosen One should be fireborn, just like he is. He... Well, I don't fully understand it, but what I do know is if I went to the Aegis for help, then she and everyone else in the castle would have faced the wrath of the Inquisitor, including Mother. This way, it's just us. This way, everyone else is safe from him. You understand? Don't you? The prince slowly lifts his gaze to meet his brother's. Something about his voice, the way he's talking. He's never heard his brother sound so... afraid. He can feel the Ludistian pendant in his pocket. Look, the brother says, unbuckling his weapon. If you still don't trust me, take this. Wear it. Be the one to bear the blade. All right. The prince takes the sword from his brother. Sorry. The brother's stern visage is broken by a smile. <laughs> Come on. We need to keep moving. It won't be safe here for long. We need to get out of Moravos and then... And then... I'll figure out what to do next. We'll find allies. Someone who can best the Inquisitor. The brother stands and offers a hand. And the prince takes it. And they exit. My friends, let us follow them into the castle town of Moravos and help them find a way out. Alrighty then. Have you what do you think so far? Very often. Oh, what am I saying? Of course you haven't. <laughs> What do you think so far? Mm -hmm. Hopefully Sunny this time we'll be able to find a Megzelitz. We'll have plenty of time to uh, explore this part in a bit. Let me just stay here for a moment. <laughs> Though the winds howl, the town is slowly waking up, ignorant of what had transpired overnight. Rugs are shaken out of second-story windows. Farmers set up stalls to sell cucumbers, carrots, and cabbage. Smiths stoke their furnaces, while innkeeps sweep the past night's chaos out their front doors. The sun barely manages to break through the clouds. <sighs> this way, the brother says suddenly, and he pulls the prince aside into some bushes. Not a minute later, a pair of zealots dressed in red approach a pair of city watchmen. Let it be known, says one of the zealots, that the princes are to be brought before the Viner Church if they are found. They have committed treason of the highest order. Treason? Truly, 
What do you speak of? The heir murdered the Oracle and has taken his younger brother as an hostage. The Inquisitor fears the heir is being compromised by the enemy. But the heir has faced dations on the battlefield. You mean to tell me he... Queen's orders. If they are found, the Inquisitor must be notified at once. Failure to do so will result in being branded an enemy of the Crown and of God. As you say, we shall spread the word. And the brothers are left alone again. Nobody can know who we are, the brother says. Don't say anything to anyone. Keep your hood up. And don't let anyone see anything you own. The guards won't let us out of the gates before checking who we are. We'll definitely be recognised. We just need to... All right, I have an idea. I know someone who could help us, but we need to get across town. The brother looks down the road. My friends, the brothers are about to cross Moravos, but they are going to need your help. Tonight's NPCs Sheen and Rendizo, please come forth and change oh, into your guard avatars. Uh oh. This is she gonna be a guard. Okay, uh, this uh, this should be no biases this time. Interesting. Mm. Hey boy. This will be Darn you, we can't see. That won't stop me boy. from finding a McZealot, though. Yes, they're clearly prepared with avatars. My friends, make sure you have their avatars enabled, although you probably do. NPCs, once you pick your avatars, please go and wander into the city and make sure you cannot hear me as I continue the... Oh, Polly Rendizo. What the fuck is that? And a Kirby uh, canvas and a Kirby uh, final boss. Are you sure these are not the I've seen this. Right. I've used that one for him. Like it seems one. the guard of Moravos are having some budget issues. NPCs, <laughs> please take your positions in the city. Make sure you cannot hear me. I must continue the raid. That's funny. <laughs> By your command, tour guide. It's a Pokemon Don't worry, I'm just gonna save this avatar Pikachu. for later. The thing is, like, it's a pretty good speaking. I'm just gonna save this avatar for later. <laughs> Stealing is a crime punishable by no Wi-Fi for 24 hours. It was a My friends, <laughs> your attention, please. There are rules to explain for this quest. Let me get up on my podium. You and me, Protag. Podium. <laughs> Gather round, friends. I'm going to be lowering my voice. Come closer. This quest requires that you are able to use your microphone. If you do not wish to speak, or if you think the NPCs know you personally too well, or you want to opt out of this quest for any other reason, that is completely fine. Please stand at the end of the alley behind me, where Zarit is. Everyone else, please take a moment to form pairs and stand in your pairs, clearly. Protag, I kidnapped I... you, you are now my friend. I think you know who oh, I'm choosing. Protag. Protag, I thought oh, you were my favorite. Rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors for it. Of course. I can't choose. All right. Yeah. Oh. Don't see uh, you you got to choose an avatar that has hands, my guy. Do I see two trios? Oh. My friends, that's not how okay. math works. <laughs> <laughs> Come on out, Three is not a multiple of two. There is a trio if you want to join one of them. You can join Ragnaros. Oh, Make you proud, boy. Come here, come here. Win the game. Come on, Kohara. I'm not going to trio. Let's just make a little bit, Nami. Okay, two pairs and two trios. Okay, whatever. My friends... <laughs> This is what the NPCs will be doing. They will be roaming the city, and they are going to be questioning you as your groups, so please stay together. If they address you, you must 
answer their questions that they ask of you. No other conversation is allowed between you and the NPCs. And this is what you will all be doing. You can use this time to wander the city of Moravos. Please stay together in your groups. You may talk amongst yourselves or with other travelers. Now, my friends, at this point, normally I would be explaining how you respond to their questions, but tonight we're going to do it a little differently, and I haven't told the other tour guides. Oh. Tonight, there are only four bit groups. You are all lying to the tour guides. Not only that, but you must all find a way to include an obscure food item in every one of your answers. <laughs> I will consider, I will consider this quest failed if instead of ousting a particular pair, the tour guides, the NPCs, instead say, no, Trajim, tonight it was different. There were no liars. Well, everyone was a liar and everyone mentioned food. If they say something along those lines, this quest is failed. So lie well. This is actually This should be fine. Oh, this is gonna end so terrible. Normally, one of us would be the princess and say, Yes, you're all joining you, man. Telling the truth. Yeah, 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 yeah. My friends, the your 10 yes. minutes is about to begin. At the end of the 10 minutes, you will hear a town bell. At this point, please come and find me. The NPCs will then discuss who they think were duping them, which is, of course, a waste of time. Your goal <laughs> is to win. Your 10 minutes starts now. Those opting out, I bet you regret opting out now. Please follow me to the end of the quest. We'll just mosey on down through here. from one of the guards, which I almost had. I was on the third key until one of the guards took it from me. Huh? Yeah, apparently there's a key to McZealous, which I managed to snap, snap from one of the guards until they took it from me. So You'll be safe here, opt-outers. You have ten minutes to do whatever you want in this time. Safe for now. Bad God. Shoot. I said, Miss Ugly and Miss Donald, why would you say that loud? No, he said, no, 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 no
I need your unbiased opinion on this. I need your unbiased opinion on this. Find the keys, okay? And I and I promise you that I won't screw this up. Say that I'm the tour guide. Say that you're a tour guide, right? And I'm trying to come up with something to say, and not as a character, not just as a person, right? Just as a person who's not supposed to know something. If I were to go up to someone trying to think of a very secret way of saying this and go, hey, say food, hey, say food. Would you ignore that? Would you not take that as a hint? If you're a tour guide, or an NPC, I certainly would. That would be a very blatant giveaway, and I can't just Yes, it would. Oh, hello. Kirby, stop harassing the guard. I'm hard guard. Who's harassing anyone? Hello, I'm not harassing Burn, anyone. Whoever you are. I come with a few questions for you. Shoot. You may speak. <laughs> yes? Firstly, what is something that you like about yourself? Something that I like about myself? Well, I, I like know that my... I really, really like pineapples. I like how I'm exploring Wait, more technical stuff about myself. I like being able to, you know, have a, a lot of colors on my avatar, be able to change it, have a blueberry personality uh, with all the colors I have, you know, lemonade, uh, raspberry, all that stuff. Very bright colors, you know? I think I have a very rainbow personality, and I enjoy that. I don't know Very that. rainbow, Ooh. fruity personality. I like that I'm relatively consistent. Consumption of food items is what's also good for me and type of pizza. I like the past few years. So, and one more question I have for you three. Mm -hmm. What is something that you dislike in others? Hmm, something that I dislike in others. Well, I, I hate like the fact that deciding that pizza does not deserve to have pineapple on it. Oh my gosh, and I really like pineapple too. I I proclaim that pineapple does go on pizza, and I hate that people I agree. Oh, do not like pineapple pizza. No, 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 no. Not pineapple. Not only pineapple pizza, broccoli pizza. Seriously, you should try to broccoli each pizza. To their own, my guy. Pizza, pizza is an artwork, really. They're both very exactly. angry. 
I am actually kind yeah, of hungry. I'm, I'm not mixed yeah, here. I, I'm actually so hungry. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to find a McZealous around here. My stomach is starting to... Oh my stomach my. is substituting for my brain. Really, I wanna. So I think he's been thoroughly confused. I'm thoroughly confused at why you're both so hungry. I'm a robot. What? <laughs> I'm a robot. What I got? It's the keys. The keys of the guard. You know what happens to me, right? Blade with a sandstorm. Saving this for later. Seems it is 23 o'clock. No, Alright, while they're just switching, switch. I will get. I only got two. We're 35 <laughs> seconds early, Trajan. I've already taken it out, but. Walking here, guys. The NPCs are currently just trying to make sense of what we inflicted upon them. Uh, I'm certain they are. Me and Mario's partner didn't even get that. We said that just as they were going past, right? Oh. Hey, hey, you there, robot? I have some stuff in my food. I'll take robot. it out. <laughs> robot. Oh, <laughs> robot. Cricket, cricket, robot. cricket. <laughs> Mm -hmm. That's one way to pronounce robot. <laughs> robot. You're a robot. Technically speaking, yes, Stop. I am a robot. Stop bullying me! Technically oh, boy, speaking, I am a robot. You no, my you? friend has left. Oh, let me see. Bro tag? <laughs> I'd like I... a robot of even... the companionship. Don't say anything. Oh, They're chilling here. <laughs> Wait, but it's salty, I'm not. Salty boy. I'm just being a robot. Hey it. I didn't find no hey place boy. to hide this egg. Talkative. Stop that. <laughs> hey, oh yes, bro tag. I must say your blueberry combo. That's my egg, very boy. Smooth. Very smooth. Nice egg, boy. I'm, I'm a very fruity <laughs> rainbow. I was a bit that was very kind of fruity. If I get it too close to my eyeball, I'll just I can't see it, it, boy. Oh! Oh my god, cool! <laughs> didn't intend for me to see it, it's like... Oh, that's actually cool, oh. though. You, you can actually change your color pro oh. tag, you... Pro tag? Yo. It changes the whole yes. game! Hug? Oh, wow. How could you be able to do this? Hey, boy, look at that robot. It's hard to oh. It's so cool! Hold on, I have I have a skin just for the specific occasion. I haven't constructed my body oh, around those of very ether basic, Hello, robot. basic mechanics Hello, robot. and individuals. Hello, I can adjust Hello, myself accordingly to the ether I'm surrounded by. What'd you say? So why is it blue here? That's the question. It's not a skin. I'm sure some people can tell you why. I have an avatar. Blue, now we are robot friends. <laughs> robot friends. I'm blue for a reason. I'm sure some people can tell you why. By the way, I'm Travelers, if you like to please. The NPCs have returned. Please, for the love of Vana, change your avatars back. Okay. NPCs, <laughs> tell me, what is your verdict? Who tonight was lying? Tour guide Trajim, we believe that today the princes were pack lover, equal, and Kahora. Hmm. 
Paklova, Equal, and Kohora. That was a group of three, is that correct? Yeah. Mm. Well, she and Ren, these are yeah. my friends, my fellow tour guides. You are not wrong, but you're also not right. Because you see, tonight, everybody was lying. <laughs> and, and you didn't know. <laughs> Man, we did a little pressure to say one group, which is fair. Tonight we tricked you for a bit of fun. We hope you can forgive us. Yes. We got them boozled. We got trolled. We got trolled by the most So we still have a chance to pick who was saying the truth. Is that right? No. You were supposed to say everyone was lying because I asked you who you think was lying. Tonight I asked everyone to lie. The answer was everyone, not just a single group. I'm sorry, You're a dirty cube. He's he's afraid. Dream Very you well. your My friends. I consider this quest a success on your part. And so the story goes as follows. As he walks across Moravos, the prince tries to shrink back into his cloak. His brother strides ahead, swift and confident. How does he do it? Every Moravian looks at them, stares at them. Do they know? Do they know who they are? Suddenly he bumps into his brother as he comes to an abrupt stop on a bridge. He looks past his brother. A city watchman is there, talking to an elderly couple across the bridge. The guard's back is to them. The brother quietly backs up and guides them both another way. The prince glances over at the old couple. He can see the old woman looking at him. And she points the guard in the opposite direction. And he smiles. A short while later, the prince stops. What is that noise? Some sort of grinding, a deep rumbling. The storm <gasps> returns. I'm blue, dappa dee, dappa die. No. Yes. yes. An image rushes up from the depths, rising to meet him. Amidst vague, towering structures, a blue bird flits, darting from corner to corner, desperate, giving pursuit as a red feline, stalking calmly yet appearing in places where it should not be. The bird is frantic, its movements urgent and panicked. It tries to stay silent, yet every beat of its wings betrays its location. And everything begins to redden. My friends, you have a choice to make. The prince has four options. Descend, divulge, dwell, and distract. You have one minute to discuss what he ought to do. After this time expires, I will call upon one of you to give the best answer you have heard. Your time starts now. I heard the tats. Yeah, the tats. I heard 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 the tats
Yeah, you were detached, I mean, here, right? Where you pick your egg, boy? I mean, here it's confirmed that we don't have to detach, I considering that uh, we didn't last time. Boy. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, but like, still, speed. <laughs> yeah, 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 In fact, we had no we didn't detach, yeah, we didn't detach last time because we got caught. Especially since we there are that old man of people here that had this speed run, speed run. Ah. that wants to see it. We got a BLJ. Yahoo! Yeah. Yeah. Yahoo! Yeah, 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 I have no preference oh, either way. We, we you use your horns as handle bikes, boy. Yeah, detach. I want to ride a tricycle. Detach. Let's see the tricycle. Out of touch. Travelers. Out of time. The time for discussion has come to an end. Oh my. Which means one must be chosen. Let me see. I have a feeling by the end of tonight's adventure, I'm going to run out of people. Well, oh. I'm going to ask. Mm. Hmm. One eight hundred hot beef. How did you access my redial? I mean, do you speak? <laughs> 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 Um, Speed dial. <laughs> I vote detach. You vote detach. Hmm. Let me check my notes and see if that is a valid answer I can accept. We're out of time. Very well. Detach has been chosen. And detach is what the prince will do. <laughs> the prince takes a step back from himself. He observes his own fear, his own experience. He observes the vision from outside. With this clarity, he can see the truth. among the strange structures fleeing from the fireborn beast. The red intensifies and with it comes an unnatural warmth. It glows, it rises, it burns, but it doesn't need to. This exists within the prince's mind and his mind is his own. He stops running. He turns back. The fireborn is there. The prince takes control and looks down into his own hands and realizes that he has the power to defy his enemy. And in this vision, the prince remains. The brother carries him upon his back through the rest of the city. The prince is aware of being taken into the home of a veteran knight with a shimmering sword above the mantelpiece. He is aware of the brother attacking the friendly veteran before escaping into a hidden passage through the city underworks. My friends, please follow me so that the story may continue. Tell me. Let me jump! 
It's not fair! I pressed jump! Uh -huh. Oh, you fools. You, you can't fly. What a bunch of chumps. Hey, Salty, you know how to jump, boy! I'm not the best jumper. Jump over here, boy! I can't see, boy. As a reminder, Dang. for anyone who falls, eyes, you boy. may use fast travel, chapter three. Speed run, boy. Please. I casted him out, I banished him. <laughs> it's fine. I think he just blocked me. Back me with your eggs. And we'll never There's see There's something oh, really yeah. absurd to see if he's being real. Oh. I'm so sad, equal. I'm sorry, the first thing I know. What's Did you hear that, pro tag? Equal called you a bitch. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's okay. just what you usually call me, Pack. <laughs> What do you want me to call you? Do I even call you that? I don't think so. You call me many things, and I can't stop you because you're like dad who abuses his son who cannot fight back. <laughs> oh, that's a hell of a new one. Damn. Oh. Wow. Damn. Does that not describe uh. our relationship? <laughs> I can't stop you. I can't stop you from saying terrible things. I've never said anything terrible to you. Oh, that is, perfectly that is an actual, genuine lie. That is a genuine lie. Oh, you have a waveform on your chest. I've just now noticed that. Continue. Oh, Alright, travelers, Maybe now I can come take hither a bathroom break. from yonder and listen well. Chapter 3. It's after sundown, by the time the brothers emerge. The underworks tunnel led them to an old mill, and from there they followed trails until coming upon the eastern road. Maravos looms in the distance, gently glowing in the moonlight as the prince slumps to the ground. His legs and feet ache, his stomach Grounds. He is tired and sore and short on breath. His brother is just checking through a bag he's carrying. How does he do that? How does he keep going? Can't we go back? The prince bites his lip. He didn't mean to say that aloud. Go back? brother lifts his head. Go back and what? Face the fireborn? He'll kill you, and then he'll lock me away or kill me as well. He'll tell everyone that the oracle chose him, and nobody could disagree. The Varna church will change forever. Mother will be powerless to stop him. And then Dacia will invade the people will have to live under the rule of one of two monsters. We're not going back. Not until I find a way to stop the Inquisitor. And while I search, I'm going to stop the Dacians. We'll go to Felden and warn them. We'll help defend the town from them. I'll kill every Dacian who I have to. We can still make a difference. I won't have another lake for it. Do you hear me? I won't have another lake fort. We still stop it. <laughs> Please stop. You're scaring me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just. It's just you and me. 
there's nobody else who can save us. It's just us. Listen. His brother squats before him. I'm scaring you. I see that. I don't like to see you so afraid. But I am doing what must be done. I am... Do you remember when you were little and we found that nest in the old tower? We spotted the mother, a blue wing, coming back to feed her chicks that evening. We even named them as well. Uh, Dusty, Scylla, and... Pickle? <laughs> Pickle. Yes. Little Pickle. And then the cat found the nest. The mother bird fought so fiercely, but... You ask me why that happened? Do you remember what I said to you? Vana is kind. Life is cruel. That's right. Right now, two little birds have to leave the nest. The cat is after them. If the birds aren't in the nest, then the mother can fly to safety, and the cat can't reach her. But this cat is sly. It's going to try to trick other animals into helping it. So, these two little birds, they might have to do some things that seem bad, just so they don't get eaten. They have to, well, learn to fly, perhaps, or find another cat who will help them. The prince nods slowly. He can see how hard it is for his brother. He doesn't want to do the things he's doing. He must. They must survive. He wants to reach out for his brother. He wants to hug him. But he can't bring himself to move. We can go through the Duke's world. The brother says, standing. It will be dangerous, but it's the fastest way to Felden. Do you still have my... His brother stops and looks down. The prince is hugging him tightly. Hey, <laughs> it's all right. When all this is over, we will sail to Laodicea, the sacred lands. We'll go together, just you and me. Would you like that? The prince wipes his face. Laodicea? Really? Do you swear? brother smiles and the world gets a little bit brighter. I swear. My friends, the brothers have a perilous task ahead. They must cross the Duke's Weld in the dark of night, and they will need your help. This way. You don't need... Um, real quick, uh, there's my kazoo. Hey, uh, real quick, um, I'm sorry for saying that stuff earlier. That wasn't funny. I forgive you, friend. I forgive you, friend. Pack brings out the worst in me. I'm sorry. I forgive you, friend. This is not a joke. This is not me doing a bit. This is me apologizing. I shouldn't have said that. 
I forgive you, friend. That's what friends do. They forgive each other. Error 404, no. sympathy not found. Now then. <clears throat> no, this is, like, don't, don't actually joke about it. Like, that's not an actual joke. Please, don't, don't. I'm sorry for saying that. That's not something that should be joked about. Get it? Because it's a Lost Woods. Hey, boy. What if I rip out your ears with these claws, boy? My friends. One at a time, mm -hmm. boy. We aren't the Duke's world. NPCs, Sheen and Rendizo, please come forward and change into your avatars. Sheen and Rendizo. Oh, boy. Here we go. Ah, these guys again. Hmm. A, a pickle? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so scary. It's really nothing more scary. Very I have well. seen the face of Satan himself, and he looks like a blue Pikmin. Everyone else, yeah, think stay right. here. NPCs, please go through and prepare. I'm going to eat the skin behind your eyelids. <laughs> okay. Good luck with that. I'm currently possessing a porcelain doll. <laughs> you can tell he's not happy about Someone being quote that. <laughs> he told you, boy. You want to sacrifice your eyelids for mine, boy? Uh, yep. I will definitely take that greed. I now, well, my friends, the Duke's world at night is not a safe haven, but it does bear resources that they may need on their journey. The rules for your quest are as follows. Navigate your way through the Duke's world, which, according to legend, is haunted. Collect as many resources as you can, each of you has five bundles of wood and five clusters of berries to find. You must avoid the Duke's Wild Phantom. Its terror will render you mobile for several seconds, costing you your valuable time. The Phantom can teleport to any Phantom Fire at any point in time, so stay alert. You are being observed. Oh, it's Please avoid like using avatars that are really tiny, really large, or invisible. Once you have completed your mission, you can either make your way to the end where I will be waiting, or stay behind to act as a distraction for the Phantom. Mm. Please do not use teleportation while partaking in this quest. Mm. After your five minute timer expires, all remaining resources will disappear and you will be escorted to the end. Hopefully I can find five of each this time. Friends and travelers. Your time starts now. Run! Alright, I don't... Okay. Look out. Sometimes they're a bit higher up than some of them. There's wood behind me. Huh? Hmm. Wood. 
there be wood? Mm -hmm. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? Hey, boy. Wood right here. I just got a wood. It was right there. I hope you find your wood. Hey, boy! No, it, it's like the screen's black on that screen, and then this screen is perfectly fine. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> That's the accident. Not one look at someone and do that. <laughs> no, not my fucking accident. Dude. Come on. One more week and then I'll be a happy man. Berries! One more of each, just one more of each. That's all I ask. One more of each. That's all I ask, please. That's all I ask. I ask nothing else but one of each, please. Whoop! Give me your uh, eyelids. Your eyelids. Your eyelids. Woo! Yes, berries. Now I just need wood. Oh, another hug. Hello. <laughs> Oh, and he hmm. disappeared with you. Oh, sick. That's the last berry. Neat. I just need one more wood. One more wood, please. I need wood. Christ, I'm gonna crack. Where's this wood? I need wood. I need, I need fucking wood. wood. I need wood. Where is this wood? I need one more wood. Hug. Bro time. Wait, is there wood over there? Wood? You see wood? What do you do when you get 5H? You see wood? No, there was. Oh, yes, there's wood. There's wood underneath this bush. Wood underneath the bush. Oh, that's it. Mission accomplished. Oh, wait. Wood. Oh, my hog! Who's got? Oh, my legs! My chicken legs! Yay! There's like one right here. Yeah. Alright, I probably got that wood already. Oh no! no well, and if you go back now. Oh, my hog's last time! <laughs> oh god, I got 30 seconds to find wood. Where the oh, fuck is this god. wood? I feel safe. Well, I always come up one short. I don't know why, but I do. <laughs> Come on, Abba. So funny, I could see Salty right, getting chased. That was that fair. Yeah, it was bloody ah, blue shiny thing. Bro, I didn't even see you. Like, you know, I didn't even encounter encounter you. Like, where were you? I only ever encountered Gene. Who was watching this guy's? Yeah, I did. Doesn't that have the NPCs work? One is on the field and one is. I guess Gene was the only watcher that we had. Yeah, that's that's how it works. Rendezo was watching the skies. That's why we didn't see him. Boy, what happened? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. I knew you didn't mean any harm to okay, you. Okay, I just wanted to check out.
If you want to know what the NPCs actually do during that quest, yeah. you should take the NPC role yourself and find out. Well, first Patreon I have to actually I do the Patreon, yeah. Hello, Sheen. Which honestly, mm. uh, I the only hugs. The minimum uh, hugs for the eyelid to be monster. Able to be an NPC, right? I don't even have eyelids. I am like hugging the eyelid monster. The minimum uh, Patreon support to be able to be an NPC. Is what it is. Scratch your panel. I don't know if he's answering. Oh yes. No. It is three dollars. Three dollars. Okay, so yes, the minimum is at least required for two NPC. I managed to find all mm -hmm. five berries and five wood this time. Yay! Yeah, three dollars USD. There's five berries <laughs> in there. That's correct. Three dollars per month will grant you the ability to play an NPC. Less yes, than what you would pay for a Subway life. sandwich for every, every tour guide. Trade gyms also Australian. Adorable. You see that spoiler? Thank you. Uh -huh. <laughs> First, you'd have to join the Discord. Oh, 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 oh. Now enjoy. Yeah, I understand. I, that boy. I parsed it I after a second. I was looking for I could, uh, if, uh, if there isn't, I can just uh, send you an invite after. My friends. Oh, I verped. That was quick. <coughs> For those curious, as a group, you collected an average of 8.9 resources each. Darn. A very good number. Well done. Not bad, not bad. Oh, very well then. If it's good, then that's all that matters. Dang, I was hoping for a perfect score. We gotta do it The Monday story life. continues. The brothers come to a clearing. A steep river cuts through the middle of it. Nearby, moss-covered bricks sit, indifferent as the forest slowly consumes them. The boys drink and refill their flasks and wash their faces. The prince catches a glimpse of himself in the glittering water. He barely recognizes this face. He looks unkempt. Disheveled. Common. He pulls his cloak in tight and sits back. We can rest here tonight, the brother says, gathering some sticks together. The prince watches as his brother soon has a small fire burning. He lies down beside it as the brother sits against an old piece of masonry. The prince stares at the fire, and the flames stare back, his face warm, his back cold. How does he do it? The prince thinks to himself. How does he keep going like this? I just want to hide. I just want it all to be over. He's good at everything. I'm not good at anything. <laughs> the past few days catch up to him. And within minutes, he slips into a deep sleep. I'm blue, dabba dee dabba die. That was bright for a moment. A twilight meadow. A pack of black wolves bound. Long grass whipping by. They are on the hunt, following a scent on the cool wind. But the hunters are also hunted. Something else stirs the grass, and though it evades the eyes, its presence can be felt. A 
sense of something imminently wrong. A feeling that things are not how they should be. A shadow is in pursuit. My friends, you have a choice to make. The prince has four options. Descend, divulge, dwell, and distract. You have one minute to discuss what he should do. After this time expires, I will call upon one of you to give the best answer that you have heard from the group. Discuss. I heard detach. Did, did anyone else hear detach? Was that one minute? I heard detach. Uh, this time we actually got uh, There's the like a time where at the top of the screen you want to get to the, we do the, one? the actual thing. This time we actually do have to detach. Then we're doing the thing, but basic. The first time but, yeah, I'm not convinced we have to. The second time it's confirmed, it's confirmed we don't. Detach. This time we kind of do. This is the one you have to detach. There will be a break shortly. No. Okay. At least, Just if we wish uh, for the tour to continue. Get through this, there will be a five minute break. I like all of these, these like weird kind of like vignettes that happen when we do the, the, the detached. This is a very nice filter. Yeah, I like it a lot. Which, uh, funnily enough, now that I Your attention, Charles. I'm enlightened. I don't have any fingers. The time. I only have claws. To discuss really has ended. Her, I can only pinch it. Shh, shh, shh. Kahora. Kahora. Shh. <sighs> Pack, be nice. Kahora, seal thy lips. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to call upon one of you to give an answer. And that one is going to be. None other than one of my favorite bands, Boney N. What does the prince do? <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, sorry. I say detach. Detach. Let us input it into the narrative and see if it works out. The prince takes a step back from himself. He observes his own fear, his own experience. He observes the vision from outside. With this clarity, he can see the truth. The shadow closes in on the Dacians. They do not seem aware of it at all. It draws closer and closer, ever silent, impossibly dark, until it reaches the soldier's end. Becomes one of them. The shadow has joined them, and they seem oblivious. The shadow draws its sword, and on instinct, the prince grabs his own sword, readying himself. But the shadow does not strike the Tatians. It does not strike. They continue their march with the truder among their ranks. And then they are over the next hill, leaving the prince alone.
wake up. Come on, wake up. The prince is shaken awake. The sky is a soft blue-grey, and the brother is crouched over him, looking at something else. There are voices nearby. The prince rubs his eyes and turns to look. Across the river are soldiers in black, carrying spears and swords, with foreign emblems upon their shields. They are pushing a cart through the clearing. Nations, the brother whispers, gritting his teeth. The veterans said they might be here. Either they're preparing to besiege Felden, or they've already taken it. Hmm. Maybe I can find their camp, find their general, and... He looks down at the prince, and his expression softens. Let's get a closer look. We need to know where they're up to. They gather their things and scoop dirt over charcoal and carefully make their way across the river to the other side of the clearing. My friends, Dacians are dangerously close. This way. I'll swim across. <laughs> Score. Hey, boy. We're about to reach the break, so. Is there one in here? Boy. Oh, okay. We are reaching. We are reaching That's the break soon, and when oh, once we reach the break, I will finally play that audio clip mm. that I've been working on today. Because oh, Captain oh. Panda wasn't here. The bacon's for emergencies only, boy. Emergency, emergency rations. Bacon, boy. It's emergency rations, boy. Boy, mosquitoes are coming out in California already, man. I got my arms. The brothers hide in the undergrowth. The outer walls of Felden looming over the trees, scarred by past battles, defaced by nature. There is a large gathering of Dacian soldiers just outside the small gate, bringing supplies inside. So, Felden has already been taken by Dacia. Maybe they were already here and didn't need any distraction. There are too many of them, the brother whispers. brother creeps forward a couple of steps, lifting himself a little higher above the grass. The prince's heart jumps. What's he doing? Is he just going to run in and fight them? How can they not see him? When the gate is clear, run inside and hide in the town. I'll find you. What? I'm going to draw them away. Are you ready? I think so. The brother turns back to the Dacians. There are at least seven of them left after the rest went inside. The brother scoops up a fist-sized rock into one hand. They wait. And they wait. And without warning, the brother jumps to his feet and breaks into a sprint. He ditches the rock at a soldier and it strikes him square in the helmet. There's a cry, yelling, and they call him names the prince has never heard before. The brother runs to the left, diving between the trees, moving parallel to Felden's outer wall. Five soldiers give chase, and two remain, hesitant to follow. They both draw their swords, staring in the direction everyone went. Wait, his brother's sword, he might need it. But it's too late now. The prince
prince unsheets it, just in case. Even in the dull light of dawn, its golden gilding glints. Who's there? The prince looks up. The two soldiers are coming his way. He must have made some noise. He freezes. He holds his breath. His blood begins to drain from the top of his body. His legs go numb. Lose interest. Turn around. Go away. Go away. Go away. Leave me alone. Hey, there's someone in the trees. <laughs> the prince scrambles into a sprint away from them. He hears Dacians yelling after him, thudding through the underbrush. Go away, stop following me. Around a tree, under a log, over a rock, through tall grass. Are, can, are they getting closer or further away? He can hear their boots pounding the ground, their swords slashing through low-hanging branches. He can feel their heavy breaths. He can feel it on the back of his neck. No, 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 leave me alone. He keeps running and running and slips suddenly on muddy ground and then... The ground vanishes. The forest rises up careening overhead as he topples into ice-cold waters. My friends, please follow me. What? Wait, you gotta get the water down there. Your mask came down when you did that. Yeah. Yeah. My friends, <laughs> at this point in the story, we have a designated break. Have a snack, rehydrate, and use the restrooms if you need to. Please, be back here for the story to continue Let's in four minutes. I repeat, be Let's back for the story to continue in day. four minutes. So yep. Get some water. All right. Captain uh, Panda was supposed uh, to be here today to give everyone some fish soup. But since he is not here, I may as well just play the little designated audio made specifically for, for soup time. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Oh wait, no, last time people crashed when I tried to get that campfire Metal, on. it's good to see you. Ugh. So anyways, I'm finally back. Soup huh? time. Brothers, I got stuck for a bit. Tonight, but I'm back. Yes. Yeah. And welcome back, you are. If you're ready, I'm ready. Hope you all enjoy that little audio bit. You're looking the wrong way. Boy. That was great. I'm running on. I haven't. Yes. I, I basically have. I basically haven't slept in like thirty hours. Back oh, not by dreams. <laughs> hey, Jimmy, you there? It would have been so much better if Panda was here. Honestly, I don't. I 
don't want a panda to hear it. I'll play it next time panda's here. I'll how, tell him about the special we... audio bit. Hey, here. Is the ending portion gonna... what, what was that command? Okay. Um, yeah, probably. If I remember yeah. correctly, I think you feel like better. Windows oh. yep. Like it is 11 Fuck. 10 right, Eastern where I'm at. I'd expect at least another hour, probably. Feeling better? Yeah, I can't even use my, uh, yeah, radio. Hmm. I'm not behind us. Hey, do you want me to play the game? Anyone want me to play that one? Yeah, I can't again? even use my, uh, yeah, like browser because it's, it's on the other screen. <laughs> hey, do you want me to play that oh. audio again? Dang. Okay, so what you do? If it's on the other screen and it's black, you can you can click on it, right? So you, so technically no, you're right on that screen, and then you hold down the Windows key shift and use the arrow key to drag your screen over to another place. So. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah. So you can get all your windows on one monitor. Hey, what? Of course. Hmm. Y'all got them all in the same <laughs> tiny 14 inch monitor. Hey, the ritual of soup again? <laughs> <laughs> a few hours. <laughs> what happened to the other mind. monitor? No, I don't know, dude. It's black. It's like about another hour and a half in the middle. Hmm. About another hour and a half in the middle. Oh, um. My you might want to restart your monitor then. Mm. Like, disconnect yeah. it or reconnect it. Okie dokie. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Is worth it, I assure you. You drop it or to pick up hey, the Sheen, did you want to my little device? audio dedicated to Captain Panda's soup? What is it, oh, USB oh, power oh, or what? Oh, it was as thick as it was slurpable. I enjoyed it. Mm. It worked, boy. Yeah. It would only be better if Captain Panda was here to, to witness it. Exactly. I'm not gonna be able to eat my snack on the way next door to see if he's here. Discord server link in there. Yeah, 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 you bought it, but I gave you the sus app to do. Mm. Amazon, Amazon. It's called Tenu. Try it. <laughs> it's a subsidiary yeah. company that sells used devices. Bing -a -bang -a Ooh. Ooh. There we go. The more you know, boy. Some cheaper things, things? That don't make it. Right. Cheaper things, boy. Uh, like cheaper me, things. Yeah. Your items may or may not work. Ah, uh, Nihao Travelers. Woman, you Jishu. Mafani Gumalu. Can tour guide the Ichida. Shisha. Hi. My friends, okay, so your yeah. attention, please. As Sheen just stated, quite clearly and in plain English, the story is about. To continue. Just shut it. Chapter four. The prince comes to. Something is pulling on his leg. He opens his eyes to see a mangy dog trying to drag him by the ankle. He panics and kicks at it, and, not expecting retaliation, it darts away with a yelp. The prince takes in his surroundings. He's in a town right by the water's edge, utterly soaked. He shivers and sits up. Everything hurts. He looks up, up at the town's structures, and... The sword. Ah, oh, it's still here, firmly in its sheath. He makes sure it's out of sight and gets to his feet, heading into the town of Felden. 
my friends, please kindly follow me. Mm. All right. The story moves forward. The story continues. Are we talking to anybody? You're good right here. Oh, no. The prince is a revolution ahead. There's a line of people with wooden bowls outside a door. You can see Dacian soldiers within, giving out the same amount of food to each person. Next in line is an old lady who can barely place one foot before the other. Please, sirs. If I may, I would like a little more than usual. My, my dear canine friend, his name is Riot, you see. He's going hungry. He's all skin and bones. Please, sirs. Oh, that's not fair, says a townsman right behind her. Why does she get more? Peace, peace, orders the soldier. He regards the elderly woman carefully. Fine, have extra, but just this one. Oh, oh, bless you, Vana, bless you. And here, the soldier adds, offering a wooden stick. Seems like you're having trouble walking. The elderly woman is overcome. The prince turns away, wanting to distance himself from the scene. These are just normal people, he says to himself, quietly. They didn't do anything wrong. As he hurries away, he bumps into a group of strangers. He mutters an apology and tries to move around them, but they block his exit. He peers up at them carefully. Those faces. Well, look who we have here. Zealots. The prince feels panic bubble up inside him. He wants to shout for help. But there are so many people about. The Dacians might help the Zealots. A fight might break out. Innocent people will get hurt. No. No, there's too much risk. Come now, lad. No more running. My friends, the prince has no choice. This way. to play your part? <sighs> I guess. Let me just get some more coffee. The zealots lead the prince down some old rock-hewn steps and through another door, and the passage opens up to a large and dark room. Carved niches hold sickly candles. Many figures in red stand near the corners, watching silently. Fireborn, says one of the zealots, we have the prince.
a shadow that the prince did not see until just now slowly turns. It is a titan of a man with a broad chest and square shoulders draped in dark crimson robes. His face is like that of a statue, chiseled and weathered, bearing a fearsome grin. Ah, the young prince, how I have searched for you. Tell me, where is your brother? Where is the heir? The prince cannot bring himself to lift his head. Every breath trembles with effort. We found him alone, Fireborn. We think the shadow spotted by the west gate was the heir, but he hasn't been seen since. Oh, it matters not. It is you I want, O Oceanborn. Yes, your brother told you, did he not? I assume he saw the whole thing, else why would he flee with you the way he did? The Inquisitor approaches the shadow of his shadow, creeping closer. Listen to me very carefully. If your brother told you that I want you dead, he was lying to you. What use would you be to me then? Indeed, I am the one chosen by God. I am the fireborn wielder of the infernal miracles, and you and I share a goal. I have no desire to take the lives of any of your family members unless they leave me no choice. No, 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 the death I seek is that of Daisha. And you do too, do you not? What would your brother say were he here? He fought against Daisha. They have tried to invade us for decades now. Why? Evil Dacian spirits destroyed Lake Fort and started the war, didn't they? Didn't they? Uh, you see it, don't you? You didn't just have a vision. No, you summoned a great power. You made the earth open its maw. You destroyed Lake Fort. The war started because of you, don't you see? You and I are so alike. We both wield miracles. The only difference, my prince, is that you have no idea how to harness it. That is no fault of yours. That is where I come in. As one chosen by God, it's been revealed to me through divine wisdom that you are my enemy. But it doesn't have to be this way. I know how to help you. The Church of Varnha has a place just for you. A Lazarus has a place for you. I have a gift. Your crown, not that of a king, but that of a mighty wielder of miracles. Accept this gift, sire. Release your potential. Place it upon your head. Feel the crown beckoning. Prince stares at the circlet offered to him. Two parallel bands with a dull shine, otherwise featureless. Lakeford, his brother, Daisha. The prince watches as the circlet glows with a lure. The war with Daisha is his fault. The Inquisitor is right. 
He must be right. He must be. I will wear the crown. The prince accepts what is offered to him. The moment he makes contact, heat passes through him, rippling, coursing, leaving numbness in its wake. He raises it up and places it upon his head, and the Inquisitor smiles, and everything is changed forever. He sees the storm again, but this vision is not like the others. The waves churn, the wind cuts, the thunder rolls, the storm is real. It is here. It is hellfire. Flames roar outward, filling the underground space in an instant. All is red, then white, then blinding, searing. The prince screams and the fire roars back. Darkness returns. And in the darkness, embers glow. Cooked stone, scorched corpses, everything choked with soot and ash. The, brother, the prince gets up and looks for the Inquisitor. Is he dead? Did the firestorm take his life? But, rising up with him, is a great shadow. Though the zealots have been reduced to mere embers, another stands, towering, indomitable, fireborn. And the Inquisitor speaks, and cinders fall from his mouth. My prince, come, we have much work to do. Coming. Kirby, may I ask that you stand aside? You are in my buttons. Thank you. I apologize. Quite all right. <laughs> the prince and the inquisitor stand on an old bridge atop a hill. In the valley below lies Felden, painted orange and blue in the light of the setting sun. The sky is clear. All is quiet. Do you know why I brought you here? The Inquisitor sounds distracted. Distant. The Prince does not know. He's losing track of his own thoughts. He's losing track of reason of time. He thinks that the other zealots are dead, but he isn't sure. There was fire, lots of fire, and his mind aches. Something blocked his
next attempt, something else is in there, in his mind. Dustborn was right. You are the chosen one, granted influence upon this world like no other. Chosen by an enemy of the church, an enemy of, of God. The very God who chose me and bestowed upon me the miracle of fire. We are both chosen. We are not so different. A task has been revealed to me. Felden has become infested with Dacians. But even before then, Felden always deserved this judgment. The Inquisitor looks down at his own hands. He looks at them for a long while, his expression wavering somewhere between sadness and spite. Then he lifts his gaze up, up toward the heavens. The Prince looks up with him at the fast, deep, Empty sky. Bound of Swift, Halburn, Oradea, Medias, Felden. May the heavens come down upon them and may they be reduced to ashes. An image rushes up from the depths rising to meet him. From up high, a massive expanse of land stretches out before him. Rivers are ribbons of silver. Mountains are mounds of soil and stone. Towns and cities are but smudges of beige and gray. And the sea, a distant shimmer. Entire realms now fit within his grasp and he reaches out and begins to close his hand around the kingdom. A face appears before a flickering candle. Eyes closed, peaceful, beautiful. and white. He watches her sleep. He watches her. My friends, you have a choice to make. The prince has the following options. Destroy, 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 destroy. You have one minute to discuss. Do not defy so, me. Which is defy. Hey, boy. Defy is a secret Are you object. scared? Oh, the dries. Oh, I can't see them. The dots, the cube lies. The cube yeah, yeah. lies. Yes. Why? Mm -hmm. It would be on your oh, eyes nice. to defy you. Divulge, boy! Divulge! Or is it Destroy! Yeah. Destroy! 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 
during the second video. Kill them all. No oh, man, I'm not <laughs> Defy. The alcohol oh, is Destroy. Defy. Destroy. No, seriously, Wasn't Defy is. Wise. And I'm giving you a hint. Yes. The answer oh. is Defy. I'm just being in character. Okay. Destroy! destroy. Mm -hmm. Oh, son of a... <laughs> <laughs> that is some good beer, boy. I'm gonna get a big old pot belly. Time for like those motorcycle people. Ah. How am I doing? Shh, shh, shh. I'm going to call upon. What's the prince doing? Defy. You dare? Defy. Mm. That wasn't one of the options I gave. Is the cube wise? But I guess the options didn't fit. That's true for all the tales. Oh no. <laughs> you dare? Oh, I'm scared now. shakes his head. No, he doesn't want to. The crown pushes, but he pushes back. He can't. He destroyed Lakeport. It was his vision, his will. He started the war, not Dacia. But if he destroyed Lakeport, just by envisioning its destruction, then answer its call. They won't. He can feel his brother's sword at his side. He, he can't forget who he is. He might forget. I'm sorry, what did you say? I won't answer its call. What? You refuse? <laughs> Foolish boy. Don't you realize that you are a weapon? Weapons cannot choose who dies and who lives. No, that is the responsibility of the wielder. I am the wielder, and you will obey me. The prince turns fully to face the Inquisitor. I wield my own power. And he closes his eyes. And he wishes. He wishes for the Inquisitor to not be here. He wishes to send him away, to send him far, far away. He tries to visualize the giant man somewhere else with all his heart. He wishes. And something shines on his eyelids, a brilliant light. Which then fades. And slowly, he opens his eyes. The prince.
prince stands on the bridge on the hill alone. He tries to remove the crown, but for some reason he cannot bring himself to touch it. And then, all at once, in the safety of profound loneliness, he realizes everything that has happened, and he falls to his knees. It was me. It was all me. I destroyed my fort. I opened the earth. My vision. And that means the storm that killed my father. Was he looks up. A figure stands nearby. A man in black armor. The visor lowered on his dented helmet. A Dacian soldier. And the two stare at one another. Silent. Wordless. Others come up the hill. More Dacian soldiers pointing spears and swords at the prince. One with a crest steps forth. You there, boy. Identify yourself and explain that light. The prince looks to the helmeted Dacian who arrived first and then back to their leader. This is his chance. This is how he can fix everything. He slowly stands and pulls aside his cloak, revealing his brother's regal blade. I am the Prince of Lazarus. My friends, please follow me. so far. Uh, I thought we explained. I made the mistake. How am I doing so far? Convincing? <laughs> this was the bit. This was the best guard I could have. All here. The general stops just outside the door to a manor in Felden. The prince remains surrounded by Dacian soldiers, the helmet Dacian right behind him. I want the forest patrolled all night, the general says to one of his men. Bring me the accounts of the scouts who went west. Ready the siege engineers and send word to the commanders to march at dawn and summon find those cursed zealots. They're gone. The general stops, and the soldiers stop with him. He glances back at the prince over his shoulder. What did you say? The zealots are gone. I was with them beneath Felden. The Inquisitor burned them all, and then I made him disappear with that light you saw. The soldiers exchange glances, muttering and mumbling. The general glances across his subordinates. I can show you where it happened. Oh, what are you doing? The prince thinks to himself. You aren't your brother. Nobody will listen to you. And these are Dacians. They've been in invading Lazarus for four. But another voice inside him speaks up. No, they didn't start the war. And neither did Lazarus. I started the war. And I can end it. Let me go back to Moravos. Uh, I 
not speak with my mother. Without the Inquisitor there, we're safe. We don't have to fight. I'll explain what happened and she'll make you a peace offer. I know she will. He can fear his body want to flee, but the fear does not possess him. I know I'm young. I know I don't look like much. But I can end this war. I can. The general approaches the prince. What do you know that I don't? I... The, the zealots, the zealots started the war. It was a trick. What happened at Lakeford is their fault. My mother never wanted the war. My father never wanted war. We don't have to fight anymore because the zealots are gone. Show me where the zealots were. My friends, please follow me. the actual uh, thing. You need more polygons. Yeah. The prince's home stands tall and majestic unscarred despite years of war. The garrison had allowed them into Morobos on hearing Dacia was here to sue for peace. Despite this, the prince feels a great discomfort. At the entrance stands a small host of knights, and in their middle is the silver aegis, armed and armoured. The general approaches with the prince, and the Aegis moves to meet them in the middle. A silence hangs. Your mother will be glad to have you by her side again, sire, she says to the prince, and I am glad to see you alive and well. She turns her attention to the Dacian general. I'm told you're here to talk peace with the Queen. As it stands, myself and my Aegises are all that remains between you and Her Majesty the Queen. Tell me, Dacian, why should I let you go any further? The General pulls off his helmet and holds it under one arm. I have seen the zealots myself, dead and burned. And I am told they were responsible for Lakefort, acting against your queen's will, taking advantage of the absence of your king. He pauses and nods. Dacia is willing to move past this conflict, and as a token of trust, we return to you, your queen. What of the oldest, the heir? The Aegis scans the host of Dacians, her helmet still on. All our efforts to find him were in vain. He has eluded us completely. The Aegis looks back and forth across the Dacians twice more. She is a steel fortress, foreboding and immovable shining both silver from the moon and orange from the braziers. That is regrettable. Well, Her Majesty remains sceptical. You will understand that she has requested to see her son return to her before any further talks. The General nods again. I do understand, and you will understand 
that I request to send at least one of my own in with the prince to confirm circumstances firsthand. The Aegis gives a shrug. Fine. You, come with us. She points at one of the Dacians. The Silver Aegis, the Prince, and the Helmeted Dacian enter the palace together. My friends, mm. please, follow me. We will mm -hmm. we succeed. Healthy boy. Quickly, boy. It's almost done, don't worry. Is it me or has that Abby been getting bigger as time goes on? This is the new queen. The new queen is the thing. Oh, right. The starter is a little tiny baby. Oh, here. <clears throat> Oh boy, they have a dragon. I know, boy. <sighs> from Blackwing Lair. Quick bathroom break. Oh, what's that? Uh, not Good. quite. Still made it just in time. Good. It's a 20 mm. year old meme. Did Trajan crash? Trajan? That <laughs> would be. Friend, are you there? Just a moment, oh. travelers. So oh, far, we believe so everything to be under control. Rendizo, yeah. has Gate 3 shown any strange readings recently? I can't grab him, boy. He's a ghost. It's all too. The throne room is tall, empty, and cold. Any comfort offered by the gentle moon withheld by stained glass. Upon the throne sits the queen. She makes no movement upon seeing her own son. The silver aegis approaches the queen and takes an A. Your Majesty, the Aegis gestures behind herself. The Dacians have proven useful. The royal family is reunited. The prince blinks. Reunited? But what of his brother? The queen says nothing. The prince looks at her from across the room, at her empty eyes. At her regal crown and uh, sudden pressure builds in his mind. He feels his own crown respond. Ah, it's too much. He drops to all fours with a cry. Steel sings as the helmeted Dacian draws his sword. The Aegis slowly, calmly stands, still facing the throne and draws her own sword very intentionally. The blade and hilt glimmering. But that is not the Silver Aegis's sword. 
she pulls off her own gauntlet and draws the blade across her exposed palm unflinching. The crimson trail begins to glow and it catches fire. The flames erupt with a roar and the aegis is engulfed. And when the inferno dies... The Inquisitor stands in her place. He turns to the prince, his robes whirling, his eyes gleaming, the moonlight blood red. Without warning, the helmet of Dacian runs at the Inquisitor, leaping at him for a strike. With barely any effort and a flash of flame, the Inquisitor knocks him aside. Metal clangs as the Dacian's dented helmet bounces away, and the prince's heart drops as he realizes who the Dacian actually is. Ah, oh, I owe you my utmost gratitude, young sire, the Inquisitor says to the prince. You brought the Dacian general directly to me. And I suppose I must also thank your brother for providing me with such a convenient opportunity. Why, nobody but he and I knew the Silver Aegis's true fate. Ah, <sighs> she has made the perfect disguise. The prince, still unable to stand, still feeling a weight in his mind, stares in disbelief. My own brother killed the Aegis. No, no, he wouldn't. He told me he didn't. He swore. It's a lie. You're also invisible. Oh, I'm afraid it's not a lie. Although, to be fair, I don't think he killed her intentionally. One might call it a rather unfortunate sequence of events that he violently initiated fairness aside, there is work to be done. My young prince, I have no qualm with you. We have spoken already. Come to see eye to eye, if you will. No, you are not the problem here. You are not the thorn in my side. And he points the glimmering sword at the prince's brother, just now recovering from the blow. The heir will not become king. He has joined the ranks of our enemy, murdered his own mentor and guardian, betrayed his own kingdom and turned his back to God, and so he must perish in divine flames. And the sword ignites, casting brilliance throughout the dim chamber, and the Inquisitor's eye sockets are empty, burning with embers. Yeah, I... I don't care about being king, the brother says, grabbing his own weapon and struggling to his feet. I don't even care about Dacia anymore. They didn't start the war. It was my brother's own gift. I don't exactly know how his gift works, but I do know that he didn't mean it. He didn't want there to be a war. He didn't want to cause the storm. He needs help. S someone to look up to. Someone who won't leave him. And I'm his brother, and it's my duty to look after him. means the world to me. I would die for him. Do you hear me, Inquisitor? I would die for him! Oh. Oh, really? How convenient. Time. 
to pay the price. The Inquisitor plants both feet firmly on the ground and thrusts his offhand forth. A lick of fire erupts from his fingertips, blazing toward the brother. The prince is paralyzed by the crown. Travelers, you have one minute to decide what the brother is doing. Discuss. Okay, first part, we block with the shield. We block with the shield. I know all the steps. We block with the shield first. Good. All right, good, lock it good in. man. You are a good man. Block with the shield. This ought to be interesting. This shall be interesting. Can I do a chop low, rub low? Dude, by the way, these ribs are so good. <laughs> but yeah, block with Red. the shield. Block. First uh, option, <laughs> block with the shield. Oh, no, no. This music is banging. Now, no, Travelers. I am going to call upon Lady Elowen. Do you speak, Traveler? Yes. Very well. Tell me, what does the brother do? He's gonna block with the shield? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Correct. Ah, block with the shield. Hmm. The brother realizes he does not have time to move. Barely managing to get up on one knee, he brings the Dacian shield up and uses both hands to ready it. The fire slams into it and it roars, scorching the shield, burning his, the brother's arms. After a moment, the fire subsides and the brother drops the burned shield. Its fragments scatter as it hits the stone floor. The Inquisitor readies the glimmering sword and leaps forth, swinging the mighty blade down toward the brother. The prince is still paralyzed. What does the brother do? What's your he, de he deflects with the sword. He deflects with the sword. The brother deflects with the sword. Basically oh. a sword deflect. clash. A good move. Healed, but he also has something a good else. move. Deflecting with the sword. No. Yeah, for now. Yes. I know Harry. the exact order to get to the good ending. Man, you look so cool, by the way. It's sword now. Deflect. He def deflects with the sword. Deflects with the sword. I'm aware. Yeah. My moustache. Good answer. <laughs> so, deflect with the sword. If you are asked, say deflect with the sword. Yeah. Good answer. Your time is up. Crazed McGee, I see you swiveling. Do you speak? That looks like a one moment to me. One moment, friends. Are they typing? Speak. Glorious. No rush. Sadly, I don't know many words. You will have to ask another. Perfectly fine. Let's go to. Mm -hmm. So many choices. <laughs> Skull. What is the brother doing? He is deflecting the. With the sword, it is a clash of blades. He's using his Good sword move. very well. The brother stays on one knee and watches carefully. For a moment, for just a moment, he is back in time, training with the Silver Aegis. And he waits for the right moment. And when it comes, he brings the Dacian sword up. It collides with the great blade of his enemy, mm -hmm. and fiery sparks fly. With all his might, he pushes and rotates, and his parry is successful. Mm. But the Dacian sword has been bent uselessly by the force of the blow. The Inquisitor lands on his feet, he and his sword both unharmed. 
The Inquisitor steps back, glaring down on the brother who is still trying to stand. The Inquisitor raises one arm heavenward, and fire begins to gather in his palm. The prince remains paralyzed. What does the brother do? He uses his own gift. He is Shadowborn. He uses his own gift. Okay. He uses Shadowborn. His own gift. He uses his own gift. Interesting. Yes. Very interesting. He uses his own gift. Uses his own gift. Yeah, that's. Hmm. Oh, well, whatever. Very well. Travelers. I'm beginning to forget who I've asked and who I haven't with such a small group. <laughs> the first person who can give me an answer to this sum is going to be chosen. Four plus <laughs> eleven. Fifteen. 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 That was oh, one eight hundred hot beef. I'm a man of my word. I've asked you before, but I'm asking you again. What does the brother do? He uses his own gift. He is the Shadowborn. He is the Shadowborn. Gift. Very well. The brother is reluctant, but he swallows it. There is no more time for secrets. He closes his eyes and lets the familiar feeling float up from his feet. Darkness consumes him. He is a shadow, swift and silent, and he has a few moments to reposition himself with minimal chance of the Inquisitor spotting his movements. The Inquisitor raises a brow as the Shadowborn uses his Miracle of Darkness. He heaves the mighty fireball up and sends it into a corner of the throne room, missing the brother, but illuminating most of the chamber. The brother has only moments to make use of what little darkness remains. The prince is still paralyzed. What does the brother do? What does he want Goes to, to the prince and retrieves his sword. Goes to the prince no. and retrieves his sword. Retrieves the sword from the prince. Gotta take, take back the sword. Very wise decision. Retrieves the sword yes. from the prince. Here, can I have this? A very wise okay. decision. Hmm. Huh? Yeah, no, just just, yeah. Bar just barring your yeah, just just barring. <laughs> Basically, same model as the travelers. I say, I really like avatar. Avatar. The first person to correctly answer this sum will be chosen next. But if you have spoken this combat, please remain silent. Four hundred twenty plus sixty nine. 489. <laughs> Equalization. You are not distracted by my funny numbers. You have been chosen. Oh, four. 489. 489. 489. What? So he's gonna. Equalization. He's gonna go what does the brother do? He's gonna go to the prince and retrieve his sword. I'm not good at math. A very wise decision. Oh, every time the chanting starts, I must, I have to stop and listen, apologies. The brother's shadow rushes <laughs> toward the prince as fire and light spread. As the light reaches the prince, the Inquisitor sees the brother reappear right there, wielding a small but regal sword. The brother staggers away from the prince, momentarily dizzied by being forced out of his shadow. The Inquisitor lets out a short burst of laughter and leaps toward the brothers landing beside the prince. He <laughs> sheathes the glimmering sword, reaches down, and with no effort lifts the incapacitated prince by his neck. Surrender, he commands. What does the brother do? He throws his sword at the queen. He throws his sword <laughs> at the queen. It is not the queen, it is just a doll. Throws the Throw sword. the sword at. Okay. How strange. Throw the sword at the queen. Very well. Yep. He throws <clears throat> the sword at the queen. That's interesting. Yes. Why would they do that? <laughs> it, it's not actually the queen. It's a doll. Mm. 
Oh, I made myself dizzy. Oof. Throws the sword at the queen. Throws the sword at the queen very well. Hey, salty boy, these ribs were good, boy. I got hey, ribs. Boy. Sheesh. <laughs> I'm just trying to be the Inquisitor. Yeah. I like ribs. Uh, remember, if he calls on you, say, throws sword at the queen. Throws the sword Travelers, the queen. listen carefully. Solve the following to answer first. What is the seventh decimal of pi? 3.94. 3.94. Three. I know this. Seven, the I know seventh this. Decimal. this decimal. I, 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 I reckon you don't four. actually know what the, fuck the number is. <laughs> no, six. Six. It is I just guessed six. Wrong. Herbie, I just guessed six. Right. You have given the answer. The answer is six. <laughs> yes. Now, I'm going to put on you a choice. I know what you want to say. However, if you want to see an ending that hasn't been reached before, if you want to be the one responsible for dooming this narrative, <laughs> then this is the turning point. Hmm. Kirby, K Kirby 999, what can you live with? Hmm. Do, you, do you people want to see the new unseen ending? No, or do you want it to is see your now? choice. Decide yes, now. Yes. You Very well. Too. As much as I want to win, the, the prince unfortunately throws the sword at the queen. <laughs> you mean the brother throws the sword? Yes. Is that what I said? Who is technically That's a prince? That's what you meant. Yes. Very well. The brother throws the sword at the queen. Everything slows down. The brother looks at the prince dangling there, alive yet consumed by the glowing crown. He looks at the inquisitor, grinning, domineering, truly a warrior sent by God, or by a demon from the abyss. The prince looks over his shoulder, and as he turns, he pivots on one foot and throws his own sword. He throws it at his own mother. It soars across the throne room, blade first spiraling, and it plunges into porcelain. Clay shards go flying as a shrill, shattering sound fills the tall chamber. The prince opens his eyes. The pressure eases. The queen's crown falls. She was a porcelain doll. The inquisitor seems unperturbed. He keeps a firm hold on the prince, and in his other palm a divine fire grows, ready to end the prince's life. The prince and brother can both mm. act. You must all decide all right. what both brothers will do. All right, so this is... So, the brother runs toward the uh, Inquisitor and goes for an attack while the prince... Imagine uses his gift to get the to Inquisitor's sword into the brother's hands. Okay, so, if I remember correctly, the brother charges at the Inquisitor, while the prince imagines the Inquisitor's sword in the brother's hand. Is that correct? There's, well, yes. Yeah, the yes, very well. sword, yeah. My brain ain't that smart. I don't know what that said. What do you mean? Hmm. I apologize. Because the prince's the gift next, allows him to, to the do whatever. Ending, you'll have to go to the next If tour. he imagines something hard enough, oh, it'll tonight. actually happen. Oh, wow. So if he play. imagines the Inquisitor's uh, sword in his brother's hand while the brother is going for an attack on the Inquisitor, the brother will have the sword in his hand by the end of it. I know I'm supposed to be the Inquisitor, but at least I'm a Ooh. good sport. 
This is my first time playing Chapter 5. I like it. Yeah. Then at least you'll see the good ending, my friend. Mm. Travelers, also, your attention. If I don't crash. A math problem approaches. <laughs> Whoever play. answers first gets it first. If you have already answered in this combat, please withhold. Damn it. Solve the following. 77 plus 33. 77 plus 33? <laughs> um, that's like 110. One, one, one. Actually, one, one. <laughs> have you answered in this combat? No. <laughs> I don't think Very I've ever well. answered in any form. You have solved. Why are you laughing? That was a hard formula. A hard sum. Yeah, let's Kahora, pretend. What that does the prince do, and what does the brother do? All right. This guy explained that one has to rush the dude, and then the other one has to imagine that the other guy's sword in his hand. Yeah. Okay. Telekinesis. Uh, Which one's which? Uh, uh, base, uh, basically, uh, basically brother, brother has uh, to charging. rush the inquisitor with nothing in his yeah. hands, and the prince has to imagine the Inquisitor's sword in the brother's hands. Is that what you're saying? Yes. 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 That mm. sounds yeah. insane, doesn't it? It does. Well, Sometimes friend, the most insane things are the best ones. This is what happens. All right, mm. position. The brothers do not understand what's happening. Their mother isn't here. Then where is she? They look at one another, making eye contact for a heartbeat. The prince's gaze shifts down into the side toward the inquisitor's sword, and the brother understands. The brother begins to run at the Inquisitor, empty-handed. The Inquisitor laughs, and his divine fire grows. The brother leaps at their great foe. The Inquisitor turns his attention away, confident, bringing his other hand in, and he begins to swing for the Prince's head with a crackling ball of fire. The Fireborn stops. He looks down. The brother has his feet planted on the Inquisitor's chest, and the young heir is holding the shimmering blade, the end of which protrudes from the Inquisitor's back. The Inquisitor lets go of the prince and looks up into the brother's eyes. No. Oh. How did you? But the Inquisitor cannot finish his words, for he slowly crumbles to ash, his mouth agape in a silent, eternal scream. The Prince embraces his brother, sobbing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. With the help of the Dacian general and his men, they find the queen. She indeed bore her own ornate crown, much like the princess. A master crown. Without the Inquisitor, she has no choice but to reveal that she was speaking inside the Prince's mind, influencing his decisions, and she is duly locked away in a tower of the palace. And the master crown is destroyed, its pieces buried in memorial under the town of Felden, in an ancient hidden temple. The brother's coronation is held shortly thereafter, and he, the new king of Lazarus, finally makes peace with the 
foundations. But my friends, this story is not quite yet over. Please, follow me. Nami. 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 This is what you learn math in school for. <laughs> to solve your... We go now, not yet. Other unseen ending on the next tour, I guess. So sorry, my friend. Also, I really like your yeah, avatar. you did good. That, in some cases, that's a bit of a trick question. I know, it's too tense for that game. <laughs> How was I? Was Indeed. I a good Inquisitor? You joined me at spawn, and we came back to the room, which stopped the battle music. Unfortunately, you missed out on the wonderful music of the final battle. I highly encourage you to ask Trajan later for the name of the song so that you can listen to it. It's one of the best battle music themes we have in VR Travelers. Oh, hey. You and you. I was here can before. Can we take a selfie after this? I might do some fan art of this. Hmm. I know the music. 2D or 3D? Uh, 2D art. My friends. What media? Please, lend me your attention. For this story's conclusion. Prince finds his brother, the king, looking out across the kingdom. The brother turns and smiles. There you are, he says. You got my message then? Ah, how are your wounds? He leans in to inspect his younger brother. I'm fine, the prince says. My neck is a bit sore, but I'm fine. What did you want to talk about? The brother turns back to the balcony view. His expression tightens and then softens. Good. Good. I'm glad you're all right. That man has left scars across our kingdom that need attention. Our kingdom? The brother continues to look out across Morelos. I know you're still young, but, well, we've been through a lot, haven't we? And I saw how you were out there. You've been gifted a great miracle by Varna. We've all seen it. We've all felt it. He turns back. And that crown. The prince reaches up and touches it, something he has been able to do only recently. It makes it a lot stronger, but I'm more aware of it. Yes, I think I'm starting to get used to it. The brother smiles. That's a relief. Well, the Oracle of Alasrath has a lot of work to do. The church is in pieces. There are rumors of zealots still hiding in the underworks. The Aegises need a new leader. We have a journey to Lodicia to meet together. And the people are looking up for answers. He places a hand on his younger brother's shoulders. Then the prince looks around. We need to find a new oracle, don't we? Hmm. Yes. We do. Who 
do you have in mind? The ocean boy. The prince's stomach begins to churn. No, 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 it's too much. It's too scary. He's going to make mistakes. More people will die. He'll get blamed. Another war will start. Another listen. The brother's voice brings him back. I know how frightening this is. When we first ran away, part of me was glad. Good, I thought. Now I don't have to worry about becoming king. I was so scared. I still am. Every day when I wake up and every night when I close my eyes, it doesn't end. But you know what? Whenever I feel that fear creeping up, I think about all the things I have. People will look up to me, a brother that needs me, and a mother who, one day, we will cure. And when I think about these things, it's like the clouds part a little, and the sun comes out. I promise you this. If you want to become the next oracle, then I will look out for you, just like I know you'll look out for me. Just imagine what you and I could do for Lazarus, shadow-born and ocean-born, king and oracle, miracle-wielding brothers. And knowing that, doesn't that just make everything a little bit less scary? Prince thinks long and hard about the offer. He wants to. He really, truly wants to. He loves his brother dearly, but the fear is profound. What if he isn't good enough? What if he does something wrong? The brother steps away approaches the balustrade and climbs on it, holding a pillar for support. He faces the sky with his eyes closed and, for a few moments, the prince is filled with peace. better days ahead. I promise. The king looks back, haloed against a golden glow, and offers his hand. And the prince takes it. Absolutely beautiful. The frame, the end on that on that one handshake. It's just, oh, I could have taken a snapshot of it, but still. <laughs> My dear friends, welcome to the good ending of the prince. For welcome. those who are new here, 
There'll be some announcements in a couple of minutes by Sheen, so please remain here while us tour guides realign our ether. If you would like to take a group photo, please okay. do so here and now. We tour guides will stand in place, <coughs> and after you take this photo, Sheen will deliver his announcements. Wait, where's, where's the... <coughs> where, where'd they go? Where'd the other one go? Oh, they're over there. Oh, where? Oh, yeah. But, but yeah, Nami, what did you think? Oh, Chris, yeah, let's take a quick are. photo, because I have to go, my controllers are at zero. You were phenomenal as the brother. <sighs> oh, man, let me stand over here. Alright. Did you think, did you think my Morphonite avatar fit the role as the Inquisitor? Hey, salty boy! Thank you. Hey, hey boy. Ah, uh, damn, you're face coin boxes. <laughs> You know what? Might want to be careful because people are trying to get some pics. Right, right. I want to get a pic with you, you know? You make it. Hmm. Let's see if I can. There we go. Perfect height. Now, how do I use this camera? I never used this camera before. A photo camera, but like. How do I make it move like around the world like what uh, Craze is doing? See the toggle that right. says flying? I am so blind. Toggle. It's literally right there. Yeah. Right I, right when you have the camera up, there should be take the photo, uh, timed, I'm... camera mode, and flying. Ah, camera mode. Okay. That... No, right next okay, to the camera photo, mode. There's and oh, wow. Yeah, this is oh, pretty good for day. Flying. Duh. <laughs> I see it. All right, and then you use your uh, move oh. turn around thing to rotate it. There you go. There we go. Get close. Let me just get my sword ready. Is that sneaking off? That's sneaking. Dan has joined the picture. Uh, Excuse me, Kirby. Your wings are very wide and covering uh, me. Sorry, I, I just wanted to get one selfie. That's all. Take a time photo. Got it. I take your place above you. Yeah. That might be the best if someone needs to do that look. All right. That looks good.